Okay. Um, really, I thought it came down to, uh, you know, the second half. I thought uh, North Dakota was the aggressor, really took it after us, and uh, they just whipped us the second half. Um, their style of play uh, was better than our style of play. Uh, you know, they pressed the whole game. It's hard to get into our sets, so we basically could only run our, our uh, fast break offense that we run. Um, I thought we got tired too, which is unique because I played a lot of players, a lot of minutes, and, and that, I, I don't know, I'll have to think about that one. But, uh, you know, I'm proud of our team and, and the steps we've taken. Um, but we're not there yet. We're just not there yet to come into a tournament and, and win it. Uh, we're getting closer. Very proud of our 17 wins this year, and we did it with a lot of injuries. Um, just blessed that Courtney toughed it up and, and played, played this weekend for us. Um, again, I, I'm, I'm proud of our team, but we're just not quite there yet. We just got, we got, we got beat by a better team today. Questions at all for the student athletes? Yep, you got one? Just a little bit of the game is kind of a mirror of what the draft works for the players. What, what did you sense was different um, in, the, in the second half that, that uh, was not the case of draft? They rallied, but you didn't beat them in an overtime. Mm -hmm. I think this game, we kind of, instead of trying to match their intensity, it seemed like we just kind of backed off and we were, we were, I don't know, it seemed like we were going out there and kind of trying to take over the game ourselves individually and we weren't playing as a team as much. And then in Grand Forks, we all came together and we had people step up who usually don't need to step up, but they did for us. And I think this game, it was more, we just, we weren't playing together. You know, everyone was trying to kind of do their own thing and get back in it. And so I think, I think that was the main issue of this game. Um, I would say the playing together, but in the first half, I thought we utilized like jazz in the post a lot more um, and we got more like paint touches that way and then in the second half we relied a lot on the three and kind of outside jumpers and shots um, whereas when we played up there we attacked the rack we got more rebounds up there that like crucial crucial rebounds that we didn't get this game so the last thing did you notice more both players did you notice more defensive intensity especially the perimeter of the fourth quarter from them or from from them? Yeah, I think they were doing a lot better job kind of stopping us in a way. Um, I know personally coming off the screen, they were being much more aggressive when with their hedges. And so it was, um, it was, I think they just, you know, they stepped it up on defense. They knew that this was their last chance as well. So I think that they took the initiative and kind of pulled it out? Um, I think, well, like, North Dakota played a better game. I think they they utilized that we weren't, like, playing ourselves. Like, we would turn the ball over, unforced errors and stuff like that. So I think they capitalized on our mistakes. But, yeah, I mean, I wish we could play them again. <laughs> Any other questions for the student athletes? All right, ladies, thank you very much. You can head back to the locker room. Okay, nice job, girls. Good job. Take a couple questions for Coach. No, I could sense it the very first possession of the second half. Our body language versus their body language, I could see it right away. Even in some of our veterans, which surprised me, um, our passes all of a sudden were soft. We weren't as sharp. You know, we were really sharp. Or we weren't shooting particularly well. You want to know the truth? We should have been up by like 18 or 20 at half. And we just didn't shoot our new normal shot. And then the second half, we, we didn't have the same intensity. I could tell at the very first possession, and, you know, you can beg your kids and you can talk to them and talk to them, hey, we're not doing this, but 
we just couldn't get it going the second half for whatever reason. Did Julie's play surprise you? Yeah, she um, she looks like um, she should be playing at uh, UConn. <laughs> you know, she's got a great body and um, her her skill level is uh, was good today. Uh, you know, I haven't seen it that good. So yeah, it did surprise me a little bit. There's a lot of things that surprised me about that this game, and and that was one of them. And uh, you know, she when she plays like that, that makes them a heck of a lot better. You know, she's. Besides Claybo, you know, you got another one you got to deal with. And then I uh, forget 24's name. I don't know how she played today, but, you know, she's dangerous. It's, it's a lot to handle on the inside. Are, are they a tough matchup when they have the, you know, those two bigs that they have hmm. Yeah, it's all about matchups. And even though we beat them twice, it's, it's a tough matchup for us. Uh, the way they defend, you know, they're physical and, and get out there and, and guard us. They, they disrupt our flow of our offense. And as you can see, I mean, I think that's our second worst, 32 percent. I think that you know that's not us. You know we're averaging 43 percent, and they had a lot to do with it. Is, there, is their style of play? Their style of play was m much better than ours today. Any other questions for Coach? All right, thanks, Coach. Okay. Thank you.